Hey guys, Scarhart here. Just giving you another behind the scenes look. This time at Johnny Thunder and the Tomb of Siegfried. Let's go! Alright, unlike my other movies, the movie started with actually something a friend of mine had requested he was he's a very he's actually the guy, same guy who plays um ogle and sam in my movie um wee, i call him which is sort of an inside joke but um anyway he's always been really into norse mythology and naturally he wanted an adventure considering that so i went to some research and i discovered a legend with, with, with the sword Graham in it, which is the sword Johnny goes after. And, um, the research was really hard because there just isn't that much out there. Even online, there wasn't that much that could be found. Luckily, we was able to, um, talk me through most of it and give me some few, just some facts for the road. And, yeah, I didn't do much research for this. But, I still made a good movie, I hope. There weren't too many problems with the filming with this one. One of the biggest problems was, um, I got a new camera, and A, it drinks batteries like a pig drinks water, and B, um, it was very small, and I had to make a new, um, bean bag for it, so, so the pictures at first turned out kind of shaky. Which wasn't so good, except for the earthquake scene. It was useful in the earthquake scene. <laughs> um, the other problem I really had was I was working with the cotton snow, and on the first scene, it's actually much higher up above the studs, so they're really not sitting on anything. The cotton supporting them, they were falling over constantly as I moved them around, and I had them throw snowballs at each other. It's just wild. When you, I finally put them on to, um, on back onto the studs in the next scene, I could almost hear them go, land, solid land. I don't know. So yeah, and then Professor McGregor was kind of an interesting act. Um, I've always really loved um, Scottish accent. So for those of you who had asked me before and may be wondering now why I put a Scotsman in. I just love the accent. That's the only reason I made him Scottish. But, um, I just wanted an extra character to, um, to just sort of add to the idea that it's not just these three, and occasionally Roy. There are other people who work with them. So, yeah. Other than one more final special thanks I forgot to put in the, um, in the credits, um, Special thanks to Lego Fanatic One Two Three for do actually designing the blizzard scene for me. I sent him the pictures, and he added the snow and sent it back to me, and I was able to add in the sound. So, yeah, thanks. I think that's about it. So, hope to see you in my next big movie, Alpha Team and the Biological Disaster. Till then, stay strong, do your best, be yourself, and hang on tight. Things are always better in the end, and if they aren't better, it's not the end. Later!